Okay, welcome back everybody. Been a while since we've done a video. Unfortunately, there's been a lot going on behind the scenes that will become readily apparent to you later. And I wanted to take this opportunity, number one, to make a video, and number two, to warn everybody about something that's gonna start happening probably over the next 24 months. And that is going to be, unfortunately, people getting into financial trouble and having to liquidate you know, their toys first. And so what happened here, this is a Remington 522 Speedmaster. It's a 22 semi-automatic 22 rifle. And um, Doc, do you know what year they made these? Oh, they made them in the 50s and beyond. And they, uh, I don't know if they went made them earlier, but I remember them in the you 50s. You remember in the 50s? Speed. Yeah. So guy walked in, I was over at Shooters. Don't mind the tactical girdle. We were practicing something. Uh, walked uh, a guy walked into shooters. I was, I was over there in another business, and he had a gun. He wanted to bring it on consignment, and I was looking at it. And if you look at this thing, I'm not going to say it's 100 percent because it's not 100 percent, but it is definitely in extremely good shape. And I have decided for the armory that anything that is priced well that will never be made again because you can never make it for what you would need to get out of it that we're going to go ahead and buy especially you know full fun guns like semi-automatic 22. so uh what's interesting about this gun is it's even labeled as it'll shoot it's a three caliber gun it's 22. it'll shoot 22 short 22 long and 22 long rifle in a semi-automatic which doc even pointed out and like interesting here's the charger on it Let's see if we can show this so also what I thought was interesting too, uh, just as like uh, a lesson learned, um, if you look at the brass deflector on this gun, it looks like a tin ear. And if you don't, if you're too, uh, too young to know what a tin ear is, Google that and it'll come up. But when you see this, just consider something. Your modern guns, especially your rifles, how much effort and energy and design went into thinking about the ejection pattern with the extractor, uh, the ejector and, um, you know, and just, uh, and, and the angle of, uh, of everything. So, so those deflectors will land in the same, so, you know, so the deflector will work and, and kick out the rounds in the same spot. This gun, it ejects so wildly, they just had to put a big giant piece of sheet metal on it. So, you know, that would never fly today. And I just thought that alone was interesting enough. So if you know anything about these 522 Speedmasters, let us know. We're not going to get a chance to shoot it today. It is tube fed. Let's see if we can get here and opened it. So tube fed, it's got a brass sleeve, uh, you know, kind of old school. That's kind of neat. And it even looks like it has a rib for, I guess that would be for us a, uh, a scope, right? For, for scope some rate. kind of rings. Is that a Weaver style? A, it was a Weaver style. An right? old little itty bitty 22 Weaver style. So anyway, if you want to see any more stories or pictures or links of us eventually shooting this gun, please go to the website at john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.